All right, it's Sunday. This is where I'm staying. I know this is a Kano Lodge, but it's actually pretty nice. There's some jerk asses up there. I hope they don't cause trouble because I'll just put a cap in their ass. Not too many people here tonight. Last night it was... See, these guys are bugging me, but we'll see what happens. And I was back around there in the suites. But I didn't like it back there, so I came up here to get better connection, internet, both, because they got regular Wi-Fi and then they got the higher 5G uh, or whatever. But uh, I figured I'd shoot some video before the dang sun actually went down. I forgot to fall back, but I'm still blowing it. <laughs> Getting out. I went to church all day and I started talking to a bunch of people. And it was a good day. I had to come home and drop a deuce. And then uh, now I'm going to go get my son. We're going to hang out for a few hours. Then I'll have to take him back because he's uh, got to go to work tomorrow. He uh, goes in at 6 a.m. And it's supposed to be. What is it? Tomorrow is rain and sun and. Tonight it's going to rain, and then tomorrow, rainy, sunny, and then Tuesday is supposed to be rain and sleet in the morning, and then partly cloudy, so I'm, I'm waiting that out. I'm, no way am I going through that canyon with sleet. No way. So. That's it. So this is what... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Day five. This is the first video. Probably won't shoot another one. I don't know. There's not a lot to see. You've seen everything. I might shoot a little bit at night or tomorrow night when I just drive up and down. Because I'm going to leave my son alone after today. Because, you know, hanging out for three days with your dad he likes it he says he does but i don't see how he could i'm you know like my it's not bad he doesn't do much he doesn't have a car up here he doesn't need one to get around because of you know his transportation up here is different they've got you know shuttles and buses to take you everywhere so he's set so he's like why waste the money i go you're right because cars are a lot of dang money. I've dropped two grand into this thing this year. So, uh, there you go. That's my room. 130. That I can show you because this is not where I live. <laughs> or keep any of my guitar. Well, I mean, I do have a guitar in there right now, but. This is where I'm staying. That's the room. It's a nice place. It's cool. I like it. Yeah. It's got a pool and spa. I never use it, but I might use it tonight. Who knows? And then tomorrow night there's a movie playing. The African Queen at the. That's just playing at the theater. And an old theater on the side road off Main. The one on Main. I wish it was playing Bohemian Rhapsody because I'd go see that. It looks like a good movie, but I might just wait for a DVD because I won't want anybody talking while I'm watching that. So I like Queen. I thought they were great. Freddie Mercury was a good, great singer, songwriter. They're all great, and that friggin' Brian May and that ugly homemade guitar and how it, the sounds you make is amazing so but yeah I had a good day at church today is Sunday the Sabbath and I spent three and a half hours at church and it was good so that's that because I'm sure people don't want to hear about religion or church try to keep religion and politics out of things and just keep it music and and uh, guitars. I was going to say girls. Music and guitars, which is music. And traveling. I like to travel. That's part of it. But I haven't been traveling. This is my only vacation this year. I usually take about 
seven or eight trips a year. This year, I think I've only, this is it. Because I got, you know, too much stuff going on at home. But look at this, this is up, this is way, way, way. So like, I keep driving about less than a half hour and I'm in Idaho. Just taking this main street, boop, and it goes in just from town to town to town. Goes into Smithfield or Smithville, whatever it is, Smithfield. I don't can't remember. And then something else. Providence is behind us. There wasn't anything here 20 years ago. Look at, see, look at that store. That is like an old store, and it's still in existence here. They got old. See, this is like old Main Street. I love this. Love it. And even, look at, tattoo and piercing is hidden upstairs, little place. A lot, of, a lot of antique places and I don't know. I like it here. I just don't know if I can handle the snow because when it snows, it snows. I mean, it dumps feet, like four, eight feet. Like, no, no, no. I got, we got four feet once when I was living in Cedar, and I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. But it only happened once in the three or four years I lived there, so. All right, day five, I guess. Yes, day five, Sunday. So I will be home within three days. All right, later. Well, shoot a few more minutes so people can see what a real Main Street looks like. Not the hemorrhaging crap that we have in Southern California, or just in California, but San Fernando Valley. There's over 2 million people in San Fernando Valley, which is about as big as this valley. This is Cache Valley. It's the same size, but there's what a hundred no not, not that many people there's just little towns and this is a college town uh, Utah State I think it's Utah State University with the Aggies and the friggin huge the stadium is like a, <laughs> looks like a professional football stadium it's ridiculous but and there's AMW, which was really cool, and I love going there, but boop, the guy I owned it just, I don't want to work it anymore and closed up. Here's a 24-hour McDonald's. This thing is gigantic. It's got two friggin' drive throughs 24 hours, boom, boom, boom. That's 24 hours. And then there's uh, Ranchitos something. Everybody calls it Bertos or Betos. Because it used to be called that. So they just still call it that. And that's 24 hours. And it's real Mexican food. Real. You know. They don't even talk, call taquitos taquitos. They call them rolled tacos. And that you can get whatever. You know. Same stuff you get at the trucks or the night. Or the cool Mexican places down in uh, California. I really don't want to go home don't want to go home. I don't like California at all. I'm going to get out again. So once you get out and you've lived out of that state, it's horrifying. Some people are like, oh, I really want to go back because, you know. But, no. I'm at the age where I don't, I don't. I'd rather have a little town. And this is not a little town anymore. It's a big town. This is bigger than uh, Cedar City where I lived. And Cedar City's a college town. They, there's Southern, Southern Utah University, Southern Utah State, I don't know what. They got a university too. Every town has got a flipping university in it. That's why everybody has a master's or a this or that. 
like some girl at church was talking about. You know, she's got three kids, one on the way, and she's going back to school to get a master's in something because she's going to go to work. And I'm thinking, oh, well, she's got to work because, oh, damn, that's the turn. She's got to work because she's divorced. No, her husband is, she's got a husband and he's working. They just want more money. And like up here, my friend, he lives in Provo. He's going to be working for Amazon 12 hour days, three days a week, $17 an hour. You're thinking, what the crap? But up here, that gets you a nice place, a nice condo. You can live, you can raise your kids on it. That's the way it is. That's what my son was so shocked when he came up here. His two friends were working, doing telephone sales, and he was going to be the IT guy. And he actually found a better job and took it. And so now he's making decent money, and they got a nice house, and he pays, what, 300 a month or less? And it's like a two-story house. But there you go. And he's up that hill a ways, and he does have some of my guitars, so I'm not telling you where he lives, and that's the end of that. All right, that's it. All you're seeing is lights and darkness and crap. I hate when it gets dark early. I hate this time of year. I hate. I used to love it. I couldn't wait for it because it meant party time. All right, it's dark. Pop open beer. Now it's like, oh man, it's dark. I am old. <laughs> I was talking to this chick today at the church. She goes, so, so how old are you? Your son's 34? I go, yeah, isn't that weird? And I'm only uh, in my late 30s. He goes, no. Because you look like you're about 44. I'm like, 44? I've aged. I usually get 42. She goes, but if your son's 40." you were 34, then you must be about 50. I go, right, 53. I'm going to be 54. December 11th, I'll be 54 years old. So I've just blown that one on the internet, but no one's watching these. I mean, a couple of people, you guys are watching it. Everybody likes the same video, and I'm trash in California because it's true. It sucks. I mean, and it's not a it's not a political thing. It is, but it isn't. It's just the way the people are and how they're cooler once you get away from the uh, coasts. And everybody's like, oh, but the ocean. Screw the ocean. Live by a lake. I live by Salt Lake. It's just as big as a friggin' ocean. Well, it's not a big ocean, but it's big and it's salty. It's like an ocean. There's no waves. Who cares? It's like my cousin that grew up here. He could not wait to get to California and surf. He was a skater, and he loved it, and he went down there, and he got all tatted up, and lived on the beach for a little bit. He actually honeymooned on the beach in a tent. And he said, screw this, and he came right back to Utah and got a job and has a house and two kids and is married and happy and goes to church and full on church member and he's tatted from his neck down all over so is his wife but it doesn't matter because they're going to church that's the point that's for some people okay Utah State University that's what's that's what's here. See, there's some that. There's a lot. This is a big, big university. This is the Aggies. This is one of the top agricultural colleges in the in the country. So, I think I missed my turn, but I'm not sure. All right, talk at you later. Bye.